Shalom. Welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Can a Broken Marriage Be Fixed? We read the Parsha Sota. It's certainly a scary one. One of those rare mitzvot where the fulfillment of the mitzvah depends on a miracle from Hashem. Not too often do you have such a phenomena. And it's a tragic chapter. Tragic issue. Broken home. Husband fears the worst from his wife. And even if it's not true 100 percent that she committed adulterous acts she certainly was alone with someone after he warned and witnesses warned her not to be sad situation she goes drinks and if uh, she did what she did then she dies and uh, one whose partner dies as well and if she didn't commit the acts then it's an amazing series of psukim the pasuk said that he her husband is clean and he should not feel guilty rashi says if she dies he should not feel guilty, he did what was proper, and if she lives, he did what he was supposed to do, and that's it. But what's fascinating is, it says, and if she's fine, and she's Tahor, meaning she didn't sleep with this partner, nor with anyone else, then it sounds like life just goes on. And Rashi says, they'll have children. If it was hard to have children until now, she'd be blessed with an easy uh, pregnancy and birth. If the children weren't so beautiful till now, then they will be beautiful. Tegum Yonatan ben Uziel talks about the rachamim, the mercy, the love between them that they will have now, and it sounds hard to fathom. They went through this crisis where she was acting improperly. He accused her of the worst. They go to the temple, humiliating ceremony. And they're going to rebuild and live happily ever after? It sounds hard to believe. So I'd like to try to answer this question in the next year. And this is some food for thought. Can a marriage that seems to be just about broken, what couple went through humiliation publicly in the temple, can that be rebuilt? I'd like to answer that in the next Sheer Shalom.